So I've been using the iPad Air 13 inch for a while now. And here's some of my thoughts on whether or not this is good for creators. So the reason why I originally got the iPad Air is because of the ecosystem. So Apple's ecosystem makes it very easy for you to just airdrop your videos. And before I got my camera, I was filming solely on the iPhone. Now, when I was doing my own research on what iPad or if there was an iPad that could actually handle editing 4K. A lot of the reviews that I seen online said that it was basically only the pro models that could do it, but I wanted to see if the iPad Air could hold up. And the short answer is yes. The iPad Air can handle 4K footage from your mobile phone, even in vlog. Now, in my opinion, if you're trying to edit footage from a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, then I think you might struggle a little bit. Got it because I wanted a bigger screen. Plus, I mean, I've kind of always had an iPad just for the aesthetics, but I also do digital planning. Being a content creator, Notion and Canva are probably one of the main two apps that I use on this. What I can speak to the editing process is that I shot a 4K, 30 frames per second, four minute long video in vlog and I have no issues editing it on my iPad whatsoever. As for graphics, using Canva on the iPad Air, especially on a 13 inch screen is immaculate, okay? Having that extra real estate really helps when it comes to designing. Some other pros of the iPad is the battery life is pretty decent. I can get through the whole day. Since it's an iPad, you can do the split view, which comes in handy, especially if you're multitasking or you're editing a video or writing your script out or whatever in Notion to kind of keep that workflow in productivity of the tiny little bit of gripe that I have about the iPad itself is one is that the screen size it's pretty big so it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea if you are someone who likes to carry around maybe smaller bags then I would recommend stepping down to the 11 inch or maybe even the iPad mini I've seen some reviews about those and from what I hear they can edit 4k videos but do your own research another issue that I would say it has is the iPad Air does not come with fans. So that basically means that when you're doing heavy tasks like editing a long form video or multiple videos, you're gonna experience the iPad getting a little hot. Uh, if I'm doing upwards of maybe 10 minutes and I have a whole bunch of graphics going on and overlays and stuff like that, then yes, you'll start to notice that the iPad gets hot, but nothing too bad where I felt like I needed to pause or I thought that it would shut down. Accessories. Accessories can get pretty expensive when it comes to iPads. Then that's where you're gonna start seeing the price hikes where you're paying upwards of 300, I believe, for the Magic Keyboard. Now I've had the Magic Keyboard previously for my iPad Pro. The Magic Keyboard definitely comes in handy, especially with the trackpad. It gives you a little bit more precision, especially when you're in CapCut and you're doing maybe splits or a lot of cuts, a lot of edits. It can make the workflow a little bit easier, but again, it can get expensive. So who would I recommend this to? If you are a mobile creator or a phone creator, and you're already in the Apple ecosystem and you mainly only shoot on your iPhone, then the iPad Air would definitely handle those videos perfectly fine. But again, just use your own discernment when you're doing it. If you feel like it's getting too hot, then you might have to reevaluate. But if you have any questions that I did not answer in this video, go ahead and comment them down below. And if you like tech and productivity reviews, unboxings, all of the sort, then consider joining the fam and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.